Hello everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about Alpine 4 Holdings, ticker symbol ALPP, currently trading at $4.19. Alpine 4 Holdings have a lot of subsidiaries, LG, Aerospace, Defense System, Manufacturing Services, Construction Services. So, hold tight and be patient. We have a lot of unpacking to do in this video. Firstly, let's go over A4 Aerospace. They have two subsidiaries, Impossible Aerospace and Vio. On November 17, 2020, Alpine 4 Technologies entered the commercial drone market with its acquisition of Impossible Aerospace Corporation. Impossible Aerospace builds high-performance electric aircraft that saves lives. Founded in 2016 by former Tesla engineer Spencer Gurr, the company unveiled its US-1 aircraft in 2018, unique for its long endurance and US origin. The company is backed by Bessemer Venture Partners, Eclipse Venture, and Airbus Venture. On December 28, 2020, Alpine 4 Technologies announced their entrance into a binding LOI with Vayu. Vayu builds high-performance vertical takeoff and landing hybrid propulsion-based autonomous aircraft. Its customers and partners range from public and private entities in Australia, Canada, and Sub-Saharan Africa in a variety of sectors, from critical medical supply transport to infrastructure inspection. Now coming to A4 Technology. They have Altia Corp in this sector. Altia, concept to production UIs. Altia empowers companies to deliver an optimized user experience and beautiful high-performance production displays. Altia is an automotive technology company with products in the connected car and vehicle safe markets. Altia's in-house brake active product is a rear end collision avoidance system. When the brake pedal is depressed, the brake active unit causes the third brake light to rapidly pulse, instantly grabbing the attention of the trailing driver. Brake active has two approved patents for its microprocessor technology. It is manufactured in California at Quality Circuit Assembly, which is again another holding of Alpine 4. On February 6, 2020, Alpine 4 Technologies announced that it has created a new operating entity, Spectrum EBOS, in anticipation of releasing its blockchain enterprise business operating system to the small and mid-cap public market in 2021. Spectrum EBOS is an enterprise business operating system that combines key software components that maximize efficiency and visibility, leading to increased productivity. Spectrum is embedded into a robust blockchain ledger system. Blockchain offers the security necessary when handling highly sensitive data and documents. Spectrum can track progress of impossible errors space and Vayu as they go through the production process at quality circuit assembly and can provide accounting auditing services for other subsidiaries. Having all subsidiaries on the same internal platform creates efficiencies. These efficiencies range from cost savings in production all the way to a reduction in auditing expenses. The CEO of Alpine 4, Kent Wilson, has 18 years of executive level finance and operations experience. Before being named CEO at Alpine 4, he had been CFO at United Petroleum for two years, managing partner at CSP, CEO of VP Operations at Crystal Technologies. He and the company communicate lots through Twitter and provides lots of information about what's going on. This transparency really attracts me. ALPP is in the process of uplisting to the NASDAQ from the OTC markets. According to their shareholder meeting, they plan to double in size in 2021 alone. They expect a revenue of 74 million plus in 2021. We have their recorded annual shareholders meeting on YouTube. To those of you who are interested, I'll provide the link for it in the description box below. Their current market cap is around 689 million. Some of the risks involved with this play is their earnings have been declining by 30.4% per year over past 5 years. Their short-term assets do not cover their short-term liabilities. Nor do their long-term assets cover their long-term liabilities. But a situation more serious than this is that they have negative shareholder equity according to Simply Wall Street. Individual insiders own 9.9% of the company, whereas institutions own 0.003%. And shareholders have been diluted in the past year, with total shares outstanding growing by 27.8%. So all in all, this company looks promising to me. There are a few risks involved, as with any other company. But as the saying goes, you can't get anywhere in life without taking risks.